Hey, what's up, YouTube family? It's your boy, Eddie, with Clear Out Lawn Care and Harlan, Clear Out Services. I am here today. Long time no see, I guess, huh? Probably, I know, I have not fell off the face of the earth or anything like that. I've been so, so, so busy. I'm trying to figure out how, how the single guys out here, the solo guys are out here doing YouTube videos like they do when they're that busy. I haven't figured it out. I'm like, by the time I get out the truck and get ready to run this equipment and doing this and that, man, I, 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 I say I'm going to record and then by the time I get ready to, I even bought a camera and everything else and at the end of the day, by the time I grab it, I, I didn't forgot about recording anything, you know, um, or maybe I'll start recording and then at the end of the day, I forget to record the end of it, right, um, uh, my, my, my business is blowing up. We're doing extraordinary things out here right now. We move from left and right. But today something happened. And I was happy that it happened, right? So has it come to a point in your business where you are happy to get fired for a from a customer? Like this lady told me that she found somebody else that can do a full service for her, which I wasn't doing full service for. Her. She said it doesn't charge for everything. She didn't want me to charge her for shrub trimming. Uh, um, you know, for spraying weeds, she wanted everything in this package. Didn't want to pay any more than fifty bucks or sixty dollars. Um, oh yeah, she didn't want to pay less than fifty or sixty dollars a month. Uh, very, 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 very small yard. I mean, you know, I, I'm rolling a thirty-inch um, Toro Time Master, I think it is, um, and I got the twenty-one and whatnot, and so. With that 30, is like, for her front yard, is like three passes and like five passes, four or five passes in the backyard. Uh, weed eating is very limit, limited. Wasn't a big deal, right? So, but she wants me to do all that for like 40, 50 bucks. I'm, I'm not doing that. Crazy. So, I was actually happy that she told me that she found somebody else that would do everything for her. She was apologetic, you know, whatnot. I'm like, man, she has no idea. That was probably the best news I had today was that she said she found somebody else. God bless that guy, man. God bless him. But if he's brand new in the game, hey, man, do it for $30 and get up out of there, you know. But um, she was well under what I normally charge anybody to do a yard anyway, you know. Um, my minimum is 60 you know. Um, 60 a month, 30 per cut, minimum, you know, and I had her down to, I think it was like 55 bucks or something like that, you know, and I have several yards in the area, so I figured picking up action wouldn't be that hard, but she was a pain in my, anyway, so yeah, man, we've been busy, we've been rolling, um, I, I've been hauling, doing a lot of hauling, doing a lot of lawn care, doing a lot of handyman services doing a lot of everything um every time you turn around man we're just doing something um and i and i keep using the word we because i did pick up some help um i had to it, it's i just had to i ended up picking up some help right so um luckily my stepson he's in town um from texas and he came out and he was like, hey, man, I'm not doing nothing right now. Want me to jump in the truck and help you out? Oh, man, couldn't, couldn't, couldn't ask for a better person to be in the truck with me. Um, he get in, and, and he run like I run. Um, so with experimenting with him allowed me to tighten up my routes a little better because I can see how I can get more done, how I can some routes um, – that would take me two days I can get done in one day all I had to do was tweak the way that I ran the route so I was able to consolidate two routes where I had down as two routes into one um, medium route um, so you know um, and a lot of my yards are bi-weekly so it allowed me to think about my business a little differently where me being solo and I still have a set up as solo, even though I got a little bit of help right now. 
instead of doing X amount of yards one day, doing the next ones, I put them all together. So now, uh, when I got my help with me, because I do yards during the week by myself. So by myself, I'm doing five to seven yards weekly, um, Monday or, or Tuesday, well, Monday to, no, Monday through Friday. And then um, Friday is like my, my lowest day. I got like only two or three, but they're really out of my service area. They were, they came from referrals that refer me a lot of business. So these ones are kind of out of my service area. So not to, to disregard them, I put them on a Friday where I'm at my least I'm out, and then I could try to get into one of those markets I wanted to get into. The other one I'm not too concerned about right now, but that's all I do. Um, then on Saturdays and Sundays, we're we're picking up anywhere from 15 um, yards up to 17 um, per per those. So, um, and when I got both people working with me. I'm, I'm flying through them like nobody's business. Um, but with that being said, when you have somebody working with you and your customers are not used to you having somebody working with you, then they have a lot more questions for you and they want your attention a lot more. So you have to take that out of consideration um, when bringing somebody on. And it's funny because I've seen one or two videos about the same topic that I'm talking about, about how your customers want your attention and different things when they realize that you're growing. Um, also, I'm, I'm debating with the with the play around with the with this job thing I have. You know, <sighs> man. So my job is starting to get in the way of my business, um, and I, I don't have a very good job. So I got people driving by with. Like this car probably worth like I don't know, eight hundred bucks. He probably got like thousand dollars worth of junk in it, right? But anyway, that's side note. I'm sorry about that. I, I had to throw that in disclaimer. If you got an eight hundred dollar car that got thousand dollars worth of junk in it, I'm not talking about you. Anyway, um, <laughs> that's crazy, man. So at the end of the day, you know, um. It's just allowing me to really look at my business for what it is and people are, are just wanting to come and talk to you when you have uh, different people working with you um, and right now I'm just playing with it so I don't have anybody like you no know, permanent person not even part-time we just been working this out trying it out trying to see getting a good idea um, uh, how I would work it out um, to make this thing work to have somebody because it's definitely gonna be needing somebody um, here in the near future, especially next season, um, if if it if next season's anything like this season, then there's no way I'm going to be able to do this with my job. Um, so I've been thinking of different avenues to to leave this particular job, and maybe I pick up something else on a swing shift or something. But my business has got to take precedence because it's growing and it wants me to grow with it. So in order to do that, I have to be more attentive to things that happens in my business, you know. So with all that being said, you know, guys, I'm not I'm not out the game. I'm still in the game. I'm extremely busy. Um, I'm, I'm growing like you, nobody's a business. We're, on, we're up and to the right, as they say. We're keeping our feet moving out here at all times. They have to break the run, and they can't. And when they do, we're going to do a pop pass on them. You understand? We're going to get on down the lane. I'm um, I'm just excited, man. Right now, man, with my business, I'm just excited, and I see. Now, I still look at the videos. I see all you guys um, growing your businesses and doing what you need to do, and I'm very proud of all of you. And um, hey, we're gonna see you on the next one. And I'll be doing some more videos. I'm gonna figure it out now. I got somebody helping me, so maybe I could do a, a line cutting video. You know, you know, we're pushing on out here, but uh, I got you. All right, YouTube, you guys have a good one, man. Peace. Keep your feet moving at all times.